When COVID-19 hit this year, I've got to tell you, I thought our industry, just like so many others, were doomed for an economic downturn. Small businesses were hit the hardest around here. I can't tell you how sad I felt for the folks who've worked so hard to get where they were in early 2020 just to have the worldwide pandemic ruin their hopes, dreams, and pocketbooks. So why did the residential HVAC industry do so well this year when other sectors were hit so hard in a negative way? That's what I want to talk about here on Fox Family Heating and Air. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. The pandemic hit Californians in early March. 2020 started out better than usual for us. I was really positive about meeting our financial goals again this year. Then it hit. The states began shutting down public places. Players were walking off the court in the middle of NBA basketball games. Really just unprecedented actions that today's population has never seen. Fox Family actually continued to gain revenue through the first two weeks of March. California went on lockdown just before that. As an essential service, due to the fact that people can be severely compromised from a lack of regulated, conditioned air in their homes, we were able to keep the staff working at least on a lower scale than usual. But the latter half of March and all of April created a situation where most of society found themselves sitting around the house not doing much. Then it started happening. May saw people more than ever begin working on their homes, gardening, redoing their concrete sidewalks, getting those gutters cleaned out, inserting pools in their backyard, getting that electrical work done around the house, and many other items that were on their to-do list. And like every year about early May, people started either getting AC repairs from the previous season done or straight up changing their whole system out. So not only did Fox Family not lay anybody off at our company, but with the payroll protection program from the government, we were able to keep money in their bank accounts so that they could pay their bills. As a business owner, I truly have great concern for the welfare of my people. We even paid a couple of our employees rent for the month and we would have continued had our business not started up again like it did. So why did the HVAC industry see the rise in business? It all comes down to people being cooped up in their homes for months on end, not being allowed to go out except for essential needs like groceries. People who even wanted to go out found that there weren't too many places that were even open. So they had more disposable income than in previous years. Places like Home Depot and Lowe's Hardware were open and that's where people started spending their money. Our industry boomed when others were scrambling to find money just to pay their lease at their brick and mortar stores. About 30% more. And while many people just got some simple repairs done, a massive wave of people started changing out their whole system. Because people weren't going on vacation, going out to the movies, going out to restaurants, and all the other things that people do in ordinary life, their money was applied towards fixing up their homes. And just as the world started lifting their restrictions, another wave of increased COVID cases hit, closing restaurants and retail stores that had just reopened their doors to the public. Usually, business starts to slow down for us towards the end of August because people see the end of 100 degree temperatures on the horizon. This makes people feel like if they've made it this far without AC, they can go a few more weeks without it before the nicer weather sets in. People who have looming repairs on their systems will just wait until the next spring to make their repairs. So we'll see how the season finishes up as we head into fall and winter. Will people continue to use their discretionary spending money on preparing for the winter months? Or have they spent the majority of their savings already since they haven't been at work for so long? These questions will be answered soon enough, but as far as us in the HVAC industry, installers and technicians across the U.S. are ready for a few weeks of downtime just to recuperate from all the hard work they've put in. I'm grateful to have such a hardworking team committed to getting folks around our area cooling again which is why we do this in the first place. If you ask any installer, they'll tell you the best part of their day is when the system they just installed gets started up for the first time and begins cooling the house for the customer. Some of these customers have gone multiple days without cooling comfort, 
So the relief on their faces never gets old to see. Not one contractor I've talked to recently hasn't said they experienced record sales over the last few months. We're all grateful to be in that position too. A lot of us in California wait all year for the summer months to hit. Thankfully, we didn't see a lack of customers calling on us to fix their ACs as other industries did. HVAC business owners never take it for granted that they'll stay busy enough to keep the doors open year after year. It may come easier for some than others, but I know early 2020 scared a lot of contractors. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.